Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what are the different components of test automation framework? Let me answer. Test automation framework consists of several components. Okay, and these components inside the test automation framework are going to work together to result in efficient and effective test automation. Okay, so assume that this diagram in this diagram, this external box, assume that it is a test automation framework. Inside that, some sub boxes are there. Assume that they are the components, okay, different components or several components which are there in this framework. So these components inside the framework are going to work together to result in effective and efficient test automation, okay. So now you got an idea what exactly the components inside the automation framework are and how they are going to work together to enable the efficient and effective test automation. But what are those several components? Okay. So I'll explain. Okay. I'll explain in this session here. But before that, all the automation frameworks may not have all these components that I'm mentioning in this session. Okay. Some frameworks may or may not have, or a different combination of components will be there in different uh, type of frameworks. Okay. Based on the type of the framework uh, you're using, the components may differ. These components that I'm going to list down here will differ. Okay. So here are some components, common components found in test automation frameworks. Okay. So what are those components? One is test scripts, okay? All the frameworks will generally have this test scripts component. So this component in the automation framework is a place where you are creating the automation tests, okay? You are automating the tests. And uh, here, in while you are writing the automation scripts, you should not be duplicating the code here and there across multiple tests and all. For that not to happen, we have to create some reusable function, okay? So if some, let's say, for example, there are some 10 tests and uh, they all require to log in to in order to perform testing. So that login code, you can put in a reusable method or function and call it whenever you require in the test scripts, okay? So another component we have is reusable functions, okay? So then we have test suites. In order to run this test scripts as a suite, like uh, for example, sometimes you have to run all the, all the tests, okay? All the tests written here in this uh, component, okay? So with the help of test suite, it is possible, or you want to run only you know, uh, some test related to smoke test category or sanity that are all possible with the help of test suites. Okay. So test suites will run the tests as a group. Okay. That is test suites. This is another component. Then test data. Test data is generally separated from the test scripts. Okay. It's a, not a good idea to keep your test data inside the test scripts itself because if tomorrow this data changes, okay, application URL, username, email, uh, password, all these things changes, you have to go to the individual tests and update them. Okay. That is a that, that will result in high maintenance. To avoid that, we are going to separate the test data into some external files like Excel files or property files or whatever it is. And uh, whenever this data changes, we can go to that particular files and modify the data, okay? And uh, so fine, then object repository. This is the component where, you know, you'll put all the locators, okay, of the web elements that you want to uh, locate on the application, okay? Automation tool will use this locator specified in the object repository to locate the web elements on the web pages. Okay. So then config properties. So some common uh, data like, you know, application URL, uh, email, password will be put into the configuration config properties. Okay. So these are all the different components in automation framework. Okay. You can mention them. Okay. If you come across this question, right, you just mention these components, list of components. Utilities. You may need some utility methods. Okay. So do some activities like to read the data from the Excel file, okay? To read the data from the properties file uh, and all those stuff like uh, to generate the reports and all. A lot of utility methods are required to generate the logs, okay? Uh, a lot of utility methods are required. So that, that utility methods will belong to this utilities component. Then reports, reports related component, okay? So the reports which are generated from the test automation framework, okay? That part is called the reports component, then logs. Whenever you are running the scripts, okay, a logs will be maintained uh, so that tomorrow if the script fails, you can troubleshoot why the script is failing. Okay, that's the reason. Then CI/CD is another component of automation framework where you know you will use some CI/CD tools like GitHub, Jenkins, and all. Okay, so these are the several or different components of a test automation framework that you can mention in the interview if you come across this kind of question. So test scripts, reusable functions, test suits. Generally, automation frameworks will typically consist of these common components like test scripts, reusable functions, test suits, test data, object repository, config properties, utilities, reports, logs, and CI and CD. Okay. You may have many other things, but these are the common ones. Okay. These are the common components of test automation framework. These components are going to work together to result in effective and efficient test automation. Okay. By doing this, 
you will get uh, effective and efficient test automation results. Okay, and not all frameworks will have all these components. Depending on the type of the framework and technologies you are using, your framework will consist as a okay this set of components. But not all in all the frameworks, but uh, you know, uh, different frameworks will have different combination of components being used. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.